So, even though he's not in this pool, there's a Morphling and a Techies! Wow! You finally got it. Radiant there's also a Brewmaster, time. a Tiny, Jerax Tusk, and the oh, Ancient Jesus Apparition. DK, first band. Wow, they did not like that Rezo uh, DK. Viper also still in the pool. Nasty hero. Hmm. Viper and PA, Aww. so that'll be quite the conundrum if they both make it through. Great. Yeah, there's a lot of good heroes. Storm is always one of those crazy heroes, too. You can't always pick counters to him in Captain's Draft. And the biggest counter, I would say, other than like a, a anti-mage, would be any kind of root, like an underlord. Dude, the stuns are very weak this game. This is actually an amazing storm game. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, what? <laughs> it's also technically a good morphling game as, as a result of that as well, right? Because I haven't really seen the new morphling, so I can't really speak to how powerful it is. Well, Jack seems to like it. But, yeah, it's gone. Goodbye. He likes it so much, he doesn't want the other team to have it. Question is, is, will anybody actually pick techies? Well, no Mouse used had to an play this. option, I think, the other day. Ten seconds no Tell used to play techies, the old one, though. Right. No idea who plays this Five new, weird remain. version. I'm going to guess he won't be touched. Unless he had, yeah, like, a five exactly. melee draft or something, and it's just like, heh. <laughs> <laughs> I do, uh, I do really like the Storm, though. Storm is very strong. Why is Resolution tweeting at me during the game? Unacceptable. What's he saying? I, I told Fly that I liked his Dark Willow. I said, nice Dark Willow. And he said, excellent hero. And then, of course, the Resolution tweets, thanks for appreciating my void. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, burn him. Get him, dude. Anyone else want to... <laughs> can Chat, can you come up with some, some more burns for Suns fan? Yes, please. <laughs> I could use... I'm not actually great at coming up with uh, some witty responses like that on Twitter, for sure. Yeah, a lot of great heroes in the pool, though. I really want to see an Alchemist game. I know you guys might think I'm crazy, but I love me some Alchemist. Because uh, then I can just talk about Agon of Scepters the whole game. True. But only two more bands to go. I'm surprised with the Dragon Knight ban. That is a little bit surprising to me. Uh, yeah, I would think so with like Viper and stuff, I would have been more leaning towards that hero being banned out. But do you think uh, Mao's are thinking about going Viper and PA, and then maybe get like an Ogre Magi, a hmm. Brewmaster, and then if, what's your four? Uh, maybe a Disruptor. You just go Disruptor and Ogre together. All right, I finished their draft, guys. Oh, a tusk. Okay, there. You... <laughs> uh, so it looks like OG will get their tusk here. I don't think Maus will take it first overall. So OG are likely to get tusk plus one in the first two, unless they think it's really unlikely Maus take it, and then they could wait for the third pick. <laughs> I'm done responding, guys. We're good. Okay. Uh, my work. mic is delayed. Did you, did you see Rezo's it. response? Yes, of course. I, I, you want to see my kill. I needed that. Smart. Man, they're taking a long time on this last ban. They're really thinking about what they want to leave open. Because on the side of Mouse, they will get the first pick, but OG can get two prime heroes for themselves right afterwards. Can't believe how much Batrider has been seen today. Does he have lane counters yeah. this time? He has the Slark and the Weaver again. Uh, but that's it. Medusa has been in, like, every draft. Slark has been very common. Uh, we haven't really seen much Viper, though. The first couple days, we saw Viper every day. And then, not much oh, since. Alina right. ban. Now, that's interesting. Out of all the heroes, so it it's, feels like they just want to leave a bunch of them. They're going to take the Viper first. Definitely agree all with right. that, because that blocks out the PA for your opponents. Yes. Blocks out a lot of stuff, potentially, right? Like... Axe, freaking counter helix just doesn't work. 
Yeah. Who else has a good path? Yeah, if he blinks block? in and calls on top. I mean, Echo Slam was the other one we were talking about, like Earthshaker. Right. Pretty annoying. All right, we're going to see an S4 brew. And will they take the tusk as well, or is there something more important? Hmm. Uh, maybe one of the fives. Like, AA is pretty strong, but they take the disruptor. Okay. Probably the other best support. Yeah, pretty good against uh, Viper, I would say. At, from a support standpoint, at least. Not many supports can say that. The other cool thing about Captain's Draft is that there's no other bands throughout the rest of the phase, right? So, like, you can actually plan pretty well. You don't have to pick PA here just because you, like, blocked it out, right? Because there's no second round of banning where OG are like, well, we can't pick PA, but we don't want you to have it. So, it allows even more flexibility when you open up with these super strong block picks, as it were. That's a good point. You can just fifth pick PA and not have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. But then again, OG can... Sw I know this is crazy, Trent. I know. All right. Oh, you're... I'm telling you before. You're I know insane. This is a... This is a 1437 special. You know what I'm going to say? Support PA. That's right. Position was actually four a, PA. a Lil special, if I'm not mistaken. Lil began... Uh, started I that think trend? he invented that along with his Weaver, but... Okay. I, I do remember 1437 spamming a bunch of NA, so maybe he was first. Yeah, but the problem is the Stifling Dagger is so garbage at level 1 now. No range at all, so... Highly doubt we're going to see that, but... The Ogre AA, some prime picks for support here mm -hmm. for Mouse. And what does that King. leave for uh, a second support on OG side? What do you have? You have Tusk? Okay, they love Tusk. They love yeah. Phoenix. Not sure yeah, if they, they want Phoenix be. this game, though. Tusk seems like the obvious one, for sure. You can snowball dodge quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, I think that's the no-brainer. I think Wraith King's very nice for mouse sports as well. Uh, having it with the uh, the stun with the AA will give you a really strong lane up against the Brewmaster early, and he'd be kind of forced to play into you. Mm -hmm. And they already have a Disruptor, so they definitely don't want to do any sort of aggro plays with, like, Disruptor and Cores coming up to fight into your Wraith King and AA. So their uh, laning stage would be really strong. How's Weaver for resolution this game? Oh, for Rezo? Looks pretty good. Uh, they'll take a different Sneaky Snake. Okay. Slithering around. I guess we yeah, not I was really thinking snake, about Medusa. But... I don't. I feel like you just can't do anything against Viper mid, though. Possibly put it. Put There's him in the Weaver. Lane. Okay, they take both then. So. Which one's a No Tail here? No Tail is a Medusa then, right? Well, I think it'll be Dusa mid, but I, I don't know who will play what. It could go either way, right? Because they can both. I would think it would be Rezo, to me, on the Medusa. I feel like he's better at the hard farmers and better at maximizing his potential and whatnot. All right, and I'm gonna Weaver disagree. would rather fight. If this is a core Weaver, I think Rezo plays it. But we'll see. You're right, it could go either way. Um, I'm just used to No-Tail being kind of this the core that's in front. Right? Yeah, that's true. But, uh, but as you said... be a position for Weaver, too. Yeah, right? I kind of like that idea, honestly. I'm leaning more towards that. I don't think they're going to last pick the Tusk. But they could. They have the flexibility. So if this is a position... Well, let's look uh, at Mouse Sports Slime since this is the last two picks coming out. We here. also talked about the Storm being still in, right? So yeah, yeah. there's a possibility that ends up being the last one. And They take the Axe. Do they want to commit for the PA? Do they still want the Wraith King? Or do they want Techies? Can you imagine? Yes, this is a safe lane Viper mid AA and a Techies. <laughs> Easiest game of my life. You never know, man. They might want to throw a curveball here. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do they want? They take the TB. Terror okay. Blade. Okay. And this is a definite. Well, I'm not saying he's going to get it for sure, but I'm saying it's definitely good as Ags Medusa. Is very yeah. good. This it's game. got some value. Ten seconds hmm. Remaining. Okay, they just go right in, and it's the Bat Rider. Okay. So does it say four Panda or a? I kind of feel well, it like could it's be gonna a... be a. It could oh. be a four Weaver or a four Bat. All right. Well, you were right about Rezo playing Medusa. No Not tail on Brew. Okay, that makes sense, right? The safe lane Brew, and then the S four Bat, and okay. the Jerax Weaver. All right. Wow, look at Fly's Disruptor. Damn. That's pretty pimped up. Yeah, that looks nice. There's some Mortal Kombat shit going on right here. <laughs> but Mouse Sports has the two remodels, man. Viper and AA on the same team. Oh, good point. How good can point. you beat that? Does not have that fresh new Viper cosmetic, though. 
yeah, but the immortal is there, so that's all that's needed. All right, well, this is going to be a very interesting game. I'm not even sure whose lineup I like more, honestly. Uh, if I had to favor one, I would say OGs. Um, but Mouse Wars has really good push. Viper and Terror Blade. I think I like Mouse Wars because I think OGs is very single core focused on the, the Resolution Medusa, and then they have the Ancient Apparition. So if they can get some good Ice Blasts off, uh, as mm -hmm. well as just you know some solid stuns and Lockdown by Skylark, then... I uh, I like what Mavs have uh, built themselves here. I All think right, I'm make Rezo needs a here, lot man. of items. Yeah, Rezo needs a lot of items. They need to delay the game as long as possible. See if he gets Ags or not. Uh, I'm going to guess Aeon Disc on No-Tail this game. I'm making a call. And Aghanim's on no, uh, the Weaver, Jerax. Imagine time-lapsing Medusa. They put all their spells on her. Sounds really strong. It's true. If he can actually get farmed, that'd be pretty hype. Uh, are they going to switch around anything? Come on, buddy. You go. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. He still has to play Sport Weaver. So they don't swap anything after. We're all on the same here. So this will be cool. Get to watch a No-Tail Brewmaster heading to the mid lane. And it will be Rezo safe on the Dusa. And still going to be the mid Viper. So nothing too crazy. How's that going to go uh, mid, though? Breaking the passive of yeah. the Brewmaster. He is going to get wrecked. Uh, with an ogre also probably coming in just for those early levels too to be obnoxious. I mean, Notel's used to sacking his lane, right? And this might be the prime example of that exactly. At least but he has the taunt. I mean, oh wait, he's rolling on that box. This makes no sense. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the lore. Won't <laughs> someone think of the lore? <laughs> The physics the of this game are broken. Are They're broken. <laughs> Man, the wheel has dexterity. not yet been invented in the pirate days, it would seem. They were thinking confused. about the cosmetics when <laughs> they made this top, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, it is a smart cosmetic, though, because he's a pirate, and you don't want something that rolls on a boat. You want it as a square. Yeah, it's logical. No, that's true. But, Definitely uh, logical. Oh. Looks like Mouse is going to be able to get their own rune here. Fire Blast onto Nota. He's just going to TP to the lane to block the creeps. we get some evasion in there. Oh, that was actually evasion from the high ground. Not from his passive. So Thug versus... Yeah, with this new Nether Toxin, expect no to have a rough time. But we'll see what Fly and potentially Jerex have to say about that, as far as the rotations are concerned. And Skylark's just going to steal this wave. Doesn't have counter helix leveled up as of yet. Gonna eat a tango here. See, we have a wraparound bottom as well. Skylark looks to be fine. To keep an eye on these other lanes. Make sure I don't miss first blood, my friend. No, oh, I'm there. I'm on it. Skylark, all right. He's gonna connect the waves. He's gonna get a lot of XP as a result of this. Fly, thunder strike. Not enough mana for the third one. And Fly gets a little bit of experience out of this, but Skylark now level two. God, these nice Jerax and Spartan are just running around in circles of the wave here. Jerax being so annoying back here. I think he's trying to stack the waves so they'll push or something. And like, because now the whole die wave is going to fall in, and then he's going to let the wave go. I mean, he'll try and pull it back if he can, but he doesn't even have to at this point because the wave will just push up to S4 because they've blocked the small camp. So it's a nice little strat here. S4 and his patented Bat Rider. See what he can get out of this game. Madara yet to use. How early do you use Metamorphosis in lane? You don't just use uh, it like right, right away. away. Yeah, a lot of the times. I mean, right now he didn't need to, though. Because mm -hmm. there was no contest, really. I don't know about this Axe cosmetic, by the way. This face. You know, I'm I'm down. I like it. I think it's cool. I, I know it's definitely do. very Warhammer. Hmm. Well, yeah, it, it, it was the Warhammer chest. So you are you are accurate there. I never played Warhammer though, so I have no uh, no allegiance, if you will. Well, not a lie, but I can recognize it. <laughs> I can give some respect here. Okay, fine. Five stacks of sticky napalm onto Madara. Make it six. Not very much threat, be... though. He's right under the tower. 
Yeah. Just loves this for to clean the. Oh, nice. Oh, eight. Oh, God. <laughs> That's nice. When you get to like eight or nine, it just becomes so filthy. Yeah. Only had a level in the. Do you think he'd just go for it? If he had his Firefly? Yeah. Probably pretty risky, though. It's a bit dangerous. He can just stand still in the cold feet or something. Well, I mean, I guess yeah. he has the uh, chilling touch. But he's holding level two, so yeah, he could have cold feet. But uh, Jarek didn't end up pulling the wave that much, so it never ended up pushing out. So as far as still stuck at one, but now the wave comes. Oh, the pull. That's a hard pull to get these days, too. I mean, it's very nicely Jarek done. gets a couple right clicks off. But the pull. Damage as well. <laughs> but the pull. <laughs> Thug, they're actually going to dive this, it looks like. Jarex. no Shikuchi for another couple seconds. He's going to go for it. Lots of damage on the no-tail. They're not going to be able to find the skill. Will he be able to get the Courier? Oh. That Rhinoceros is back in the fray. That attack slow from the Viper is what screwed him from the Corrosive Skin. And he has a TP available. And will likely just do so here. Saw his little arm goes. winding up and it's so slow. They're going to fly now. So they're doing a nice job of zoning Thug. Only level 2 right now. Has yet to get the Nether Toxin. I'm not sure what level you get it. I'm guessing 3. But we'll see. Of course, this Drunken Haze is going to be pretty annoying overall for the Viper. Yeah, I think most matchups, uh, we've seen a lot of people just skip the Nether Toxin because people just play around it a lot or, uh, you know, it doesn't have a, as big of an impact compared to just stacking on the Poison Attack and the Corrosive. I could see it being like a 2-1-1 mm -hmm. one, one maybe, but for now, second point Poison Attack, definitely the value pick. And uh, okay. even if he gets Nether Toxin, it's not going to handle the uh, very obnoxious Drunken Haze. Just truly really annoying. TP in the face of danger. And there you see the Madara metamorphosis being used. And I don't know, S4 is getting pretty good experience in this lane, I have to say. He's going to be overall happy with how things have transpired mid lane. Thunderclap goes off for Brew. And yeah, Nutel's trying to play a bit aggro there, but having to use his clap is really painful. That's uh, yeah. four Drunken Hades that he misses out on now. Is that the math? Gracious, that's true. That's crazy. Oh, Jarex is coming in from the side. No Tail's in a lot of trouble. Better be careful here. Thug has the poison attack available. Oh, Matt, not Thug commit, gave though. up. Yeah, Spartan, though, puts himself in a weird position. And it doesn't look like Jarex can be able to do a whole lot. Only level one still. So no swarm as of yet. Fly, Fly up top by is going to be pushed hunger. away. Yeah, and he's going to get the room because of it. And Jarex, though. Oh, he's going. Give me that oh, room. He's, yeah, he's got it. <laughs> Skylark getting a taste of his own medicine. He's always up with those those bounty runes. Uh, same four. thing down bottom with S4 versus the AA, but AA will just TP home. S4 about to hit level 4 right now. Madara looking at the CS 26 and 11 versus 25 and 9 on the way of the Medusa. Played by a Resolution. We'll be going for the Mask of Madness. No surprise there. The level 1 value of Drunken Haze is just so ridiculous. Uh, and without any sort of nether toxin, it's made this lane very nice for No-Tail. There's, there's no way for him to really deal with the creeps without his right clicks. He can't harass him down enough. Uh, they didn't start early with a support really in the mid. So they're going to try and make a rotation here before No-Tail 6. But it's uh, not the easiest kill. Yeah, they're going to be standing oh, on the sidelines, and No-Tail might be in some trouble here. There's the Fire Blast on top of the Ice Vortex. And doesn't look like the Cold Feet will proc, but it's not going to matter. His first blood goes away of Mouse Sports. Jeez. One less step down into the river, and he would have been okay. Yeah, but this was not a big surprise. We talked about how he'd be struggling in the mid lane. Surprised he has lived until. In fact, he's out leveling Thug right he's now. He's out last really too. I mean, because they eventually did bring the ogre in, and so he was dual laning for a bit. But at that point, he had enough levels that everything was fine. Now that's a bit surprising. Yes. I'm not sure what happened there, but now he's S4. level seven on Rezo. Yeah, Jarek just got caught both level two. He's actually gonna find S4 now. He's gonna be fine here. Can he pop that Firefly, Jarex? Looking for potential Mid lane, they're smoked up. Yep. yep, there comes the Swarm. Shikuchi on top. Thunderclap, I'm sure, is going to be used. And Fly, no glimpse, but not really needed. So they end up trading kills, in theory, in the mid lane, with the help of each respective support. MNT has the Invis rune now. Going to show himself here, S4. Looks like that tier 1 tower, though, was taken out. They might get back be taken out here soon. 
The S4 is in a lot of trouble. On top of that, I Sports I see Ooh. is extremely slow. Just hounding him. Yeah. Nice little play there from Dara. Easy combination with the Metamorphosis. Thank you, Sports. Give me some free gold. Mid lane, they have the split here. I hear Berserkers call onto Creeps. Gracious me, Skylar's right. going to town on those bad boys. No tail is Yeah, no in. tail. If he's got the split off, Fly is here, but he's only level two. I'm not sure if they have enough damage. We'll see. Support coming in. Jerax has the swarm as well. I'm not sure if it connected or not, but the Shikuchi should be enough to finally get this kill on Viper. Skylock with a big Berserker's call, though. Will he be able to do enough damage? He took a lot of damage from those creeps. So he started at the half HP that might cost him. He gets the calling oh, blade, though. Nice. And the Thunder Strike. The last proc might be enough to take him out. At 9 HP, he lives. And Fly, trying to deny himself, will not get away with it this time. That was a lot of space from No-Tail. Uh, they had a Siege Wave in there too, so this Catapult has been hitting away this entire time and taking about almost 80% of the HP's tower, or, or the uh, HP of the tower that whole time, so it's nearly dead. And the Tier 1 tower, of course, was taken eventually by Madara. To be expected with Metamorphosis being so strong in that regard. Skylar, I might be getting ganked here. The, uh, Resolution has the Mystic Snake. This can deal a lot of damage if it connects. In fact, it deals like half his HP and damage. Oh, that's that's rough. And they should be able to get this tier one in turn. Okay, so very even right now. Only a 1k lead for the Radiant. <laughs> What's he doing? He took the last hit on the tower. Oh, nice. Yeah, someone's got to pay for the wards, you know? It takes the bounty rune, too. Indeed. Oh, there might be some action support here. Connect field, field is used. Spartan gets off the fire blast. He's going to get chased down here. Jerax has the swarm if needed, but the glimpse brings him back into a horrible position. And you have to think that eventually they'll be able to find this kill. It might take a bit, though, as he is super tanky. Resolution will net another one for himself. Yeah, and meanwhile, Madara has been pushing in the bottom lane, but S4 is able to clean it up. Helps him get to level 6. He's holding the point in case he needs a lasso. But yeah, unlikely he can get six. a kill. What is he at? Is there anything coming on the curry? He's pretty poor. Pretty poor right now. He only has 18 last hits. Is this a game where you still go drums or you just try to get that blink now as fast as uh, possible? I would probably get a blink so I could work with the next panda ulti. But it'll depend on where he's at when... Like what the cooldowns are like and stuff. Man, Skylark. That is actually insane how much minus armor that really takes into effect here with resolution. Well, he might <laughs> might cost him his life though. The Skylark is here. Let's see if he can survive through this Berserker's call. Nope. The Mystic Snake just rips right through him. He's gonna attempt to TP out. Will he get so out successfully? Another nice fire blast is there. He's gonna try to do as much damage to that mask of madness, but the cold feet and Madara with the last right click. That's worth. Well, that, medallion, part where Viper died. that medallion was super value. Oh, AA ult. Doesn't look like it's going to hit. Nice. Nah, holding, hoping he juke back, but not going to happen. So, looks like they split mid to get the kill on the Viper. While that was happening top, so Thug went down. Yeah, Jerax is level 3 now, so medallion, no boots. We'll be going boots next, and then I assume a Solar Crest will yep, be the first item eggs. for him. Yeah, then the old eggs. He's going to get this tower mid, perhaps? No, he's not going to go for it. He's only, oh, he's only level 3. Yeah, he can't afford to pop up visible. <laughs> yeah, but that uh, leaves Madar up the top lane. He takes out that with relative ease. Oh, there's a haste rune here on S4. Uh, they don't know Skylark's here, though. If he fireflies, they're going to be pleasantly surprised with how close he is. He's damaged a bit from he's the He's so close well. to death. Oh my god, and he They're rotates go the through. They're gonna go for the mid. Thug is gonna get lassoed into a swarm, into the Thunder Strike as well. Look how far away he is. In horrible position. The glimpse on the T-Pink support, so that's not gonna happen. And No-Tail will claim that for himself. Jerax able to TP home before dying. And that's a Blink Dagger done for No-Tail. And uh, 1,500 gold for S4 as well. And Oh, geez, Fly still being chased here. I didn't even <laughs> <Yeah>. realize. <laughs> Just trying to get that desperate battle hunger for the last hit, but... Ice Blast be this going ice for the blast. big snipe, but yeah, Fly, he's thinking about it. And the mid tower goes down. It will be denied by MNT. 
An urn on Spartan? That's actually a really fast urn on Ogre, I have to say. It feels like a fast urn, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of Ogres lately have been getting absolutely zero farm from their team. He's got, what, 10 last hits? There you go. That'll help you out. <laughs> Hasn't died too much either. And the crazy thing is, he's the same level as their mid. Oh. Thug is level, he just hit level 7 now. Yeah. That's, That's pretty rough. Interesting. I mean, what's Rezo? 12. Madara, yeah. 10. Oh, I mean, Panda, or no Tail was up 4 levels at that point, now up 3. That is substantial. I was not expecting that. I thought Viper would have a really easy time. Well, MNT takes the Thunderclap, the right click, and the death. And this is where OG can just kind of five man. They have Stone Gaze, they have No Tails Blink, they have Static Storm, they have the Wombo Combo, if you will. And the scan comes out, they're gonna see that fly is in the area. But this tier one tower will be the next target for OG. Well, they, they will find fly. Oh, I heard a viper strike go off. Yeah, it's on no tail. He's gonna try and TP. And uh, they don't have any more catch. Blink still on CD for Skylark. And battle. Cry. Air Berserk's call at the same time, so. Resolution able to take the tier one by himself, so kind of countering the Madara factor, if you will who is now mid lane with the metamorphosis available to him. We'll pop it. And this tier one tower is going to take a lot of damage. No tail though has the blink clap and ulti available. He will use all of them in quick succession. S4 trying to come in. Nice static storm onto terribly. Cannot use his sunder and he will drop with that metamorphosis activated. Resolution with the stone gaze. Are they able to find anybody else? Jarex gets called though. MNT with an ult. It's going to connect on a couple heroes, but he'll die shortly after. It looks like Axe is next on the list and OG Looking to take this game. Thug. Still no nether toxin. Not that it's going to help him here. Attempting to TP out. We'll do so successfully. A big fight for OG as they take this into a 3 to 4k lead. Yeah, jeez. They just have no save up against the Static Storm. That is pretty rough. The Terrorblade's caught inside right now. I mean, later on, mate, if he's a bit tankier, it might be okay. But for now, he's still so squishy. Absolutely destroyed. And No Tail, the micro gamer, he's looking towards that Agonims. Oh, Jerex. <laughs> he time lapses the uh, the Viper Strike and then goes back to the same HP he was, essentially, after the damage over time. Resolution is so far ahead. Holy Jesus. So are the rest of the heroes, too, though. I mean, like Brewmaster and the uh, Batrider are also very high in the net worth. Yeah, looking forward to maybe Skylark getting some initiate good initiations off here with that smoke in his inventory. Perhaps looking to get a fight going right now. Of course, Madara doesn't have Metamorphosis used for another minute. They do have another minute where there's no split, though. So it is, as you said, tempting to uh, maybe try and get something going with Skylark. However, their damage burst is not that high without Metamorphosis. The Viper is so far behind. I mean, he has Aquila. That, that's it. Yeah. And he's he can buy treads if he wants. He's thinking about going for a bigger ticket item, it sounds, looks like. Yeah. Might be scouted out here by the Swarm, and DT is. The Medallion is there, and he's going to get ulted again. We'll have to time lapse this off, and we'll do so. So Thug, just kind of annoying. Or Jerex, kind of annoying Thug. Creating some space here. Aild is on the way. Not going to hit Jerex, though. But it and did help with the scouting. Space is being created here. <laughs> They're really trying to get the skill facts, but they can't quite find them. Ugh. Oh. And Dire Scan won't catch the fact that he actually did rotate in here on the Axe, so... Jax is probably going to think that this Viper is alone, and this might cause him to die. And yeah, no time lapse available. Gets the Swarm oh. off, the Worker's Call will miss at the last moment. And now the rest and of the Dire are closing in. Oh and boy. Yeah, they're the in trouble. Reinforcements on the way. Thug knows to TP out. He'll be successful. Skylark, blink available. Has no TP, buys one and TPs home very quickly. Nicely done. All right, big saves. Space created again on the other side this time. So Mouse Sports doing a good job there. And that leaves Madara to free farm bottom. And he's second in net worth. Still quite a ways away from Medusa, though, as she's yeah. just been ancienting. And she can almost get Scotty. He hasn't had to do anything this game. Yeah, we saw one stone gaze. Didn't really do anything, but oh, we have a primal split used. They want to find the Madara kill. 
Oh, we have re reinforcements are coming. Skylark gets a call on two. Sun was on the Terror Blade. There comes the re okay, the lasso on the Ancient Apparition. That's a dead MNT if I've ever seen one. There comes the Stone Gaze as well. Terror Blade in a lot of trouble. Not able to get the Sunder off. And Thug looks to be next. Oh. And this is just falling out of control here for Mouse. As OG wants to finish this series to qualify for the Captain's Draft Minor. Very nice aggressive play there from OG. I mean, it didn't look that perfect of initiation, right? Like, it's just no tail saying, hey, I found the guy that we need to kill, and they can't do anything, so I'm just going to ult, and it lasts a pretty damn long time, right? 18 second ultimate. It's, they were pretty far away, but they're mobile. They've got a bat rider. They've got a disruptor with very long range, and easy. Nice toss up onto the uh, wind panda to set up for the static storm, and OG just firing away here, and once again, it's just Rezo. Doesn't have to do anything. I mean, he has eight kills, but those were all quite a while ago. Yeah. yeah and the bane of of the Terror Blade's existence has been the Static Storm from Fly. Has not been able to get a successful Sunder off in any of these fights, and they're going to go for kind of a YOLO rush. OG just pinged. They saw the smoke. Uh, they think that their no tail just drew the line, thinking that they might be coming in mid here. But yeah, it is the Roche instead. And so now they back away. That's not as YOLO as I thought, though. No tails, or sorry, it's fly rather, but he's saying they're up here. Now he scans, he says, Wait, they're not up here. Oh shit, guys, I think they're in Roche. Yeah, well, Roche is gonna go the way of Mouse. Hey, very smart play though, because Primal splits yep. down, Stone Gaze down, Static Storm down. They're coming up now, but not in time to save Roche as Madara gets that Aegis. Arcane rune on No Tail, huge. And he's actually going for Aghanim Scepter. Oh, man. Yeah, man. It's the micro gamer. That is sick. That's true. That's awesome. So I guess he has to get the Thunderclap slow at level 15. <laughs> we'll see, though. He might, might just go for the match resist still. It's really good this game. If we get to that point, 6k lead, it's not insurmountable for Mouse. I feel like they can definitely still win this game, but... OG is snowballing out of control, and resolution is the main issue right now. Nobody can touch him. Man, if he ults and just keeps drunken hazing the uh, Madara, though, that's going to be so frustrating. That's all their damage, and he's going to have it now in the in the ultimate form as well. On the Wind Panda. Now we're going to have some TP support from from the No-Tail. Jumps in with the clap, gets the Berserker's call. Nope, he did. He actually missed it. The Primal Slick comes up. Terribly trying to sunder. He gets it nice. off. Finally, we'll take out S4 in, in turn, but there's the Static Storm into the Kinetic Field. That's the Aegis down. Viper looks to be next. Jarek's trying to position himself nicely to get that kill. Berserker's call into the AA ult. Trying to get the Culling Blade off, but Fly will die regardless. And TB at half HP right now. Where is the Medusa in all this? He is bottom lane, just doing, playing his own game. Playing the anti-mage game, if you will. Yeah, they're earning up here, though. They're all pretty healthy again on the Radiant. Yeah. Berserker's call. Skylark will find No Tail. Gets the break as well with another Tox. He's actually stuck in this position, so no evasion for you. But there comes the Stone Gaze. Stone Gaze from Resolution. They're able to clean up Skylark in the end. Madara attempting to get out. Will they have enough right clicks to take him? No, it's going to be close. He barely gets out. That's his Hurricane Pike all finished right. up now, too. So this should help him avoid these static storms. Well, that was a big fight for the Radiant. At least it, it feels like they showed they can actually take an engagement under decent circumstances. It's just so hard for them to... They don't have that instant burst down of uh, on a target or something. Even if they hit them with a call and an ice blast or something, it's still very difficult without the um, Terror Blade within like, attack range to actually kill someone during the Berserker's call. And that means someone like No Tail is going to get off their ultimate, or the same thing with the Medusa. It's difficult. Yeah, yeah OG's lineup is just... If it clicks together this early, then yep. it feels very difficult to do anything. I mean, we're talking about a position for Weaver. I mean, we talked about this at the beginning of the game, but it's not that easy to get this much farm on a Weaver, right? He has the Solar Crest. We'll be getting Ags at some point, and once that happens, I do not know how you kill Radiant. Revolution. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll be <laughs> nearly impossible. It becomes what? Is it a 10 second cooldown on time lapse? I can't remember what it is. 14 oh, or something, tags. I feel like. S uh, 16 is what it is. 16 seconds. Pretty dirty. Well, Mandara, all they can really do, or 
I would assume is to try to split push as much as they can. A alt will not connect on anyone. I mean, that's the thing. Mouse can push really fast. Yeah. They have the meta, but there's also a glyph, so they can't really do anything. Okay. The jump in on the fly. fly. That's going to be the death of him in all likelihood. They'll take nice him. They can blow him up. <laughs> Four. Uh, four. In. He gets the lasso, gets stunned right off the bat, though. He might be in a lot of trouble. He does get Skylark onto the high ground. Oh, he but does? Urn will tick him down. Medusa, Stone Gaze, not able to find anybody. Skylark TPs out in the face of danger again. Okay. That's a nice couple of picks. Didn't get the glyph out of them, but still very nice. And uh, there is a Brewmaster Agonim stun, I believe, here. It's on the courier. So yeah, if you oh, guys have never seen this. this, you get a uh, you get to clap again on your Earth Panda during the uh, ultimate, and then you also get the Drunken Haze onto your uh, Wind Panda, and you get crit and evasion yes. on your fire. Yeah, you get the Drunken bra Brawler. It's oh, nope, Jerex trying to chase the courier here, but well, like thug they, with oh, the Dragon they, Lance. They have an idea where he is. No, I can't find him. They actually scan trying to find him. I feel really bad for Thug. Games like this, when you're playing Viper, like, what do you do? This guy, like, actually dodges the... Yeah. <laughs> the swarm. But Viper has no comeback mechanic. That's the issue with the hero. Oh, man. That was so close. <laughs> and now he's smoked on the high ground. That's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of the hill. He feels like he's been farming for so long, and all he's gotten is a Dragonlance and Treads. Yeah. I mean, even right. if he gets his Hurricane Pike, it's, it's not nearly enough. Butterfly do so. All right. The Siege Tank has arrived. Pew, pew. Now oh, there's a the jump in by S4. Can they kill the Ancient Apparition before the Ice Blast comes out? Indeed, and S4 will actually live through that as well. Madara's trying to get a trade going here. But again, they have the Glyph. Yeah, Glyph was just popped, though, on the side of Mouse. And not sure if OG's going to fully commit or not. They do have somebody here for defense. It's No Tail. Just He's waiting hiding for... He's too. He isn't revealed. Yeah, Madara. Resolution just pops that ult. Just to be able to get that tier 3 and then eventual shrines. He's going to attempt to TP out Skylark. Oh, he actually cancels the TP. With that 4 stuff, actually would have lived. But obviously, it was not his. Either way, we'll get away safely. And things still looking pretty good for OG. I'm still really excited to see this primal split. Oh, Skylark jumps in. DD's available. Resolution's going to pick that up. Skylark choosing not to do so. A ult will connect on a couple of heroes. Fly still available with the Static Storm. Skylark in Viz. And they find him. Yes. <laughs> Eventually they do. And Resolution oh, with DD. This is scary. So what's different this game than the other Mouse games? Early rotate. Like, they don't have a early do something hero I guess like there was like the games where they were winning it felt like those amazing early jug plays from Thug where he was able to just kind of roam around the map and create all this space for Madara but instead he's stuck on the Viper mm -hmm. I guess that's kind of part of it because he got shut down and then Viper isn't really a good comeback hero because not only can he not flash farm very well he also can't like go for big explosive kill ganks or something with an axe and uh, they, they haven't had the chance of those big five-man plays because even though that's been their bread and butter, they're up against oh, a very heavy five-man lineup. Viper. A ult will come. It looks like it's going to connect on a couple. Thug extremely low. Gets off the Viper Strike but dies shortly after. Resolution just shrugs off that damage pretty much like nothing. But Skylark jumps in. A nice job at a Static Storm use. No-Tail pops the ult. I think it'll save the S4. It looks like that's going to be the case. Skylark in Viz <laughs> takes the Thunderclap from the, the Panda here. Skylark, and he's going to drop eventually. Stone Gaze is there. Fly back onto the axe. MNT being focused here. And that is a death for him. Does have buyback. Ice Blast up in 10 seconds. Look for him to use that potentially. Meanwhile, top lane, what's happening? Madara trying to focus down this tier 3. Trying to do as much split pushing as he can. Jerex gets off the time lapse. He'll be healthy for now. As the tower siege continues. Top lane still. Madara does get the tier 3. He's pretty low though. See if he's able to do anything. Got Does no get Jarek Skylark taking a lot of damage. We'll be going down again. That's his dieback, I believe. But my goodness. The Man, Terrorblade. So oh, the Glimpse. Does go back to base, and the Glimpse for the Viper. Looks like they'll find Fly. Or maybe not. There's not much mana left. Well, he on the earned him. Bloodlust, get him! It'll be close. 
He needs to get a right. Oh, the ice blast! Kinetic field. MNT. He sniped the Dusa. Where did she die? Right, uh, here, right in here. He TP'd into the shrine, got it from up by the ancients. All right. Well, even a used, successful defense. Oh, he used his little mouth. W to like run faster and get there. That was tight. They don't even lose the tier three. That's actually pretty crazy. Yeah. Massive. Unfortunately, it's your AA and Ogre. Who uh, Ogre 1,078 gold. AA 1156. <laughs> oh my God. AA has more farm than Axe. That is insane. <laughs> what does he get on this hero? He got to get Axe. Definitely Axe. Because it's it's all about Dusa. So <laughs> if you can make it work, that is pretty insane. Mid lane, Madara. Got to focus down this tier two. No tail. No primal split for another 12 seconds. Really wants to hit level 20 and get that extra HP. Although he's not really having issues with them surviving. But we'll probably still get it anyway. Here's the jump in. There's the primal split. Swarm to follow. Do they have vision on Madara? The glimpse back onto Thug. The call comes in. That's a lot of damage being done to the Jerax. And he's going to get dropped. Static Storm on two. Four steps out though. Terribly in a lot of trouble. Can he get the Sundrop? No. The lasso is there. And that's going to be the kill of Madara. Finally does have buyback though. There's the jump in. And Mouse Force are just destroying OG in these little mini engagements without resolution here. Yeah. And Rezo is no back tell. up now, though. Yeah, he's going to TP in close to Skylark. Can they finish him off? Yeah, they do so quite easily, in fact. And this Tier 2 tower still survives. But the continue of the chase here. Resolution has that Scotty in tow. Thug gets that ult off onto the break with that Nether Toxin. And Brewmaster is taking so much damage. No tell better get out. Has 600 HP. Wait, what happened here? What happened Where? bottom? Bottom lane. When did this happen? Did I miss this? Uh, no, they just took the range racks. They took them earlier. In the, uh, the range racks? The bottom melee went down for Madara uh, when uh, when Rezo killed maybe next time. It was like it, during oh. that big fight because he was top and then he went oh, bottom. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. So this is way closer than I originally thought. Medusa. That's why the net worth was so close. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, this is going to be a Roshan attempt. No tail. He's going to get caught off here. Better be careful. A blast will connect. Doesn't have Primal Split to work with. Gets four set by a, a teammate. S4, good job. Here's the Stone Gaze resolution. Pops that Mask of Madness. Trying to go to work on MNT, but the four staff is there. So the Stone Gaze is wasted in the end. Spartan just killed No Tail. Yeah, No Tail is done, -zo. Well, They're going to try to turn this onto Jerex. Gets off the time lapse at the last second. This fight is kind of split up as Resolution and OG as a whole are trying to get out. Of course, no, no tail. So that means Mouse Sports might have a free road. 1,500 damage. <laughs> this ogre is Here destroying. Comes swarm. Madara has Sunder available. Resolution, no ult, remember. Jirax, they have a little bit of vision here thanks to the swarm. Skylar tries to get off a Berserker's Call and the Blade Mail, but nothing there. There's the counter initiation from S4 Resolution. He'd love to have his ult right now, but does not try to right click. Skylar is dead. Static Storm Kinetic Field Combination. Can they take out Madar? This will be a huge kill. It's going to be close. He does get it off just in time. The right clicks are enough. That's three dead. The Nether Toxin and Poison Attack are going to be enough to kill out Fly, it looks like. But Thug will trade with his life. Well, and MNT time, trying stop. to hide to Roshan. <laughs> will they no, find No, I'm him? not in here. <laughs> Well, we'll see if they can, if he can steal the Aegis. My oh. goodness, this would be big. No, they saw him. They know. Now he's going to try right, and well. move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the swarm is there. Oh, there's a and sentry. He's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good attempt, my friend. But this is going to be a free Roshan now. All right. And we're getting to that scary point, my friend. Resolution, Aegis has quite a bit of farm. Jerax, 200 away from Ags. Well, it bases. was a noble effort by the Radiant, but I don't know. It was, it was a, a bunch of strange fights from OG. You know, they were always down one. Uh, no Tail just dies to an Ogre. But Fly has been the definitely the biggest MVP in the last two games. The Dark Willow performance, and then this game, his Static Storms have all been amazing. Yeah. I mean, it Imagine helps that he's they able to get off this. Uh, effect, but. If he's actually able to get Ags for himself this game. Oh, yeah. I mean, then that, that'll just be the end of it. There is a butterfly Terrible finished here. No, he went butter. Yep. Okay. Now they have Aegis. They have Cheese. And the next Roche will have Refresher Shard. 
if mouse take it that's an obvious choice you, you give it to the terror blade double metamorphosis that's essentially his ultimate and on the side of og what would you say double primal split or stone gaze is probably one of those you can just pop that uh, twice in a row to take racks yeah that's kind of how i feel i was thinking about the the brewmaster but again it's like 80, what 20 seconds with agonims at level three so i would probably just keep it on the medusa then again, you could all say, well, that's 40 seconds of Brewmaster, which could also create even more space than two Medusa ulties. If Medusa had, like, a BKB or something, I think it would definitely be her. So maybe it is actually for No-Tail. I think they'll give it to No-Tail knowing them. But well, Axe jumps coming in. Weaver, Jarex is going to be able to get off time lapse. Skylark's in a lot of trouble. Static Storm again onto Terrorblade. Do they have enough damage to take him oh. out? With that Thunderclap, it's going to be close. He's very close to dead. And will finally drop to his demise. And Skylark looks to be next. I thought and with no them buybacks. killing the, uh, they killed the Medusa TP creep, and I thought that might have been enough. They wouldn't have the damage that they thought they were gonna have, but uh, yeah, as he said, the yeah, uh, this is a the Agonix, I think. Ags on who? And the, just the Brewmaster Agonix oh, is yeah, really yeah, helping yeah. out there for the damage. Yeah, very strong. Well, no buybacks here. They're gonna find that out for sure here shortly. As Fly will be taken out, but. And he apologizes for it. No tail jumps in. Thunderclap available. Just zoning for now as resolutions goes to town on these racks. See if they want to go for a third or not. At the very least, they even up the bottom lane. The resolution still has stone gaze and yeah. Still with the Aegis and the cheese onto no tail. No tail with no primal split for 40 seconds though. Resolution. He might even just try to finish this right now. He has nobody with him though. S4 looking for a possible initiation. Looks like Viper taking some damage on the sideline from Jerax. AA ult will connect on resolution. Dog gets off the nether toxin, but really to no avail. The Berserker's falls there. Doing a decent amount of damage to resolution as he kind of right clicks himself. The time lapse with the Ags is there though. And that's the melee racks. They're going to go for all of it. Resolution has stone gaze available. Probably will wait for the Aegis before using it. We'll see. Gets four staff to safety. Fight is a little bit segregated here. Is no Tail's gonna go to town on the Ogre Magi. They're just gonna try to get this range rack. I mean, they, they still have time lapse. This, this is so difficult. Swarm comes in. This could be Mega Creeps. A time lapse again. And that is Mega Creeps. They can't do anything to this guy. He finally pops the Stone Gaze. There's the initiation from S4 onto Viper. They don't see him though. See if Resolution oh, Company wanna get out of this. Terror Blade stuck in the backside. He gets off the Sunder at the last moment. A ult will connect for the second oh. time this fight. Madara will finally drop here and that might be gg 70 seconds on the deck no buyback to speak of the sunder Resolution. onto the bat rider and then he just gets time lapsed so yeah, nice that's true that was <laughs> the time lapse has been pretty sick although it's much later than we expected here spartan looks like the ggs will come out and og are your eu champions of the captain's draft 4.0 qualifier they will be the seventh team go to the land in Washington, D.C. Very difficult recovery for Mavs to try and make that game. It's very well played from OG. Not the easiest of strats, I don't think. Like, support Weaver and then the double core.